Let's move on to the next question. A wire which is 80 centimeters long is cut into two pieces. So two pieces, okay? Now the total length of both pieces will be 80 centimeters long. I hope that makes sense, right? Now one piece is bent to form a square of side x. This is x, 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 and x because it is a square. And the other piece is bent to form a circle of radius r. So circle of radius r, what is the circumference of a circle? That will be 2 pi r. Okay, that will be the circumference of a circle. Now, the total area of the square and the circle is A. Area is A. So we have to show A is equal to this. Okay, so before we proceed to show A is equal to this, we have to first use that information. The total length from of A and this one, of this one and this one, will be 80. So let's find that out. So what is the length of this? That will be x, 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 and x. That will be 4x plus 2 pi r have to be 80. From this, I can find the value of r. So 2 pi r, 80 minus 4x. r will be the value of 40 minus 2x over pi. That is the value of r, right? Now to find the area of the uh, both the square and this one, let's see what can we do. So area of a square is x square, right? Length times width, plus area of circle is pi r square. Pi r square is r square we don't know yet. So let me replace. A will be the value of x square. Pi is pi. R square is 40 minus 2x over pi square. Simplify. That will be x square pi, and that will be 40 minus 2x square over pi square. So this and this will cancel out, and here we will have x square plus the value of. So here we have 40 square. That will be 1600 minus uh, 40 times minus 2 times 2. That should be minus 160 x and plus 4x squared over the value of of pi. Now we can simplify obviously, make them have, we have the same base. That will become pi over here. And here we can have x squared pi plus 1600 minus 6160 one, x plus 4x squared. Now we can see here we have x squared and x squared, we can combine them. That will become uh, x squared factorized pi plus 4. And we have minus 160x plus 1600 over the value of pi. Now we can just rearrange to show it is exactly the way we want to show this. So a can be pi plus 4 x squared minus 160x plus this value over the value of pi. That is your area. Now for part two, given that x and y can vary, we have to find the value of x when a has a stationary value. Now we know that when a has a stationary value, we have to think of dA by dx have to be zero. Okay, so let's find that out. dA by dx will be what? Now this is only a multiple, we can take this out for now. Here we have to multiply by by 2. This is also this is also a multiple, right? We can take it out. So I'm not so so I don't confuse you guys. This is only a multiple. That will be outside. Multiply by 2, that will be 2, and we have x remaining minus 160. So you have so this is dA by dx. Now we have to equate to 0 because this is at the stationary value. Now we can first cross multiply, this will cancel out, you have 2 pi plus 4x minus 160, that will be 0. Which means, we have to find the value of x here, so x will be 160 divided by 2 pi plus 4. Let's see what do we get, 160 divided by 2 pi plus 8, that will be 11.2, correct to 3, 3 SF, right? Centimeters. 
And that was the, the that was the question, just to find the value of x for which a has a stationary value. Okay, so that would be a question. Uh, first, we have to kind of derive the value of a. So it is not too hard, but first we have to realize we have to use this value. It is given to you for a reason. So we first have to find the sum of the length of both shapes. We get this. Now here, how do I know I need to make r become subject? It's because in the show equation here, I don't have any r. So it means that I need to find uh, r in terms of x. So eventually, when I replace back here, everything will be in terms of x. So that's the idea behind r being a subject. Now moving on, we have this and this, then we have to solve one by one to find the value of x.